right now, I'm logging in to one of my viewers' accounts. He asked me to do sort of like an account overview type thing. And I'm not going to do any account work. I'm just going to look over some stuff and talk about some of the things that I would potentially consider, potentially consider, and maybe help him out that way because he's asking for help. So uh, one of the first things he told me to take a look at was clan boss. So let's take a look at his clan boss team. And what are we hitting? Okay, so he's in a clan who hasn't beat Nightmare yet. He's level 100. Let's see what the team is. He's got Siegfried. Let me see here. So he's got champs. And I don't know what he does for a Nightmare, what his Nightmare damage looks like. It kind of also just depends on the builds, right? This looks like a one key, right? Because the quick battle is available. So if I do this, how much damage are we doing? That's crazy. And he's got a five star blessing for it too. Okay, so he's doing 20 mil, lasting for 22 turns. So, okay, I can see where he's coming from in terms of wanting to have his clan boss team looked at. So in regards to clan boss, there's... A few key factors that you're going to want to look for, right? So the first thing that, that I usually look for, uh, if I'm not doing an unkillable comp, is I'm looking at synergy. I'm looking for how the team works together. And right now, I just see a bunch of damage dealers. So the synergy isn't exactly there. You're looking for a team that supports each other and allows other champions to do what they need to do best. You're looking for specialists that can work well with each other, right? I would not have a bunch of nukers together. I would probably start looking for champions that can help keep survivability up. So things like revives. Now, I know Siegfried has revives, right? I think so. Uh, I'm not sure. He's revived people before, so I mean, I don't have him, so I don't know what that what that would look like. Uh, really cool champion. Wish I had him. But you're looking for somebody who brings revives. So somebody like Raglan is a pretty good champion for PvE content. So Raglan has the heals, debuff removals, and she's got a pretty quick revive on a one turn, two two turn cooldown. She could be a good option, right? Arbiter, if you build her right, she might be a decent option for revives early on. Not the best, especially the... Oh, you have Duchess. So, I would definitely bring Duchess. Duchess has the revives. She's also got continuous heals. She's got the veils. Make her fast enough. Make her strongy enough. This also helps. 15% damage reduction from AoE, and the clan boss does a lot of AoE moves. So, you're going to want to have Duchess definitely in your clan boss team plus she gives an extra 19 percent to speed so the way you have her built right now is pretty good actually good speed good defense good hp so let's see and yeah good um this is a pretty strong good arena build for duchess so i would probably bring in duchess you have siffy oh you've got champs bro wait well, i should have checked out your roster Yeah, you got you got champs, bro. Oh yeah, this should be easy. This this should be really easy for you to to put teams together. Especially for for a, a one key on um Ultra Nightmare, I think. I mean, it kind of just depends on your gear, but for an example like on on one of my accounts I don't even use unkillable comps anymore. I just bring in straight, like, support in Siffy and somebody else, and then just, like, three damage dealers, and I'm, I'm able to, like, over one key. But, like, that just comes with the gear and money. But, yeah, okay, let's, let's talk more about uh, what I was talking about. So, support champions. Duchess is really good. I would consider Duchess maybe even Siffy. But I think for this, because Siffy does bring uh, increased defense, right? Increased defense and increased speed is going to be huge. 
Oh, that's who I use. I use Siffy and uh, some. Anyway, uh, I'm, 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 I keep getting distracted. My bad. So either one of these two, right? Support champions. Maybe even both. I don't know. Kind of depends on what you're looking for. Test it out. Try it. So you bring in one of these. I would maybe even consider bringing Cardiel in because he's got a heal off of his A1. He's got increased to crit damage. He's got uh, revives and block debuffs just in case, but the block uh, the re the revive really helps out. Bad Alcazar is also a pretty decent one to bring in because he uh, gives you an extra 20% damage when he places those poisons. You could also bring in... But yeah, so that covers the support part, right? So you want somebody who is able to keep you alive, like with your passives, bring in the revives, bring something like increased defense, maybe you increase speed and block debuff so you don't receive those block debuffs you want to make sure that you're going fast Tuana Rock is also a pretty decent one because she brings block buffs sometimes the clan boss does bring increase to his uh, accuracy or increase to his attack I think it is I, I haven't fought the clan boss personally in a long time but there's that increase defense increase speed you build her fast relentless set she's got the continuous heals so she's a good option too uh, let's see who else is here for anybody watching early on, Vizix is a pretty good one because Vizix brings the ally protect. She can actually smack pretty hard. She's also got a shield. I think she only places that on herself, right? On this champion, yeah. So she's a pretty good option. He's got two duchesses, I think I saw, right? Yeah, two duchesses right here. I definitely think you could also bang out some unkillable comps. It's just going to... You know, have to, it'll take some time for you to... Yeah, two Necrits. It's just going to take some time for you to, I guess, learn how to put that together. You have a plus three Seer with a five-star Blessing. That's crazy. Uh, two Kaimars also. And two Necrits. And Valkyrie. Yeah, you have you have so many options. You could do, do like, uh, Valkyrie, counterattack comps, big shields, throw in Siegfried, because I know Siegfried could do Siegfried. Sigfrin can do some damage, so maybe even bring him as a damage dealer slash extra support. Depends on what you want to do. So bring in your support, bring in those buffs, the heals. So you're looking for buffs and heals. And then next we can talk about damage. So when it comes to the clan boss, you're going to want to figure out ways you can bring in, you know, really good debuffs. I'm talking decreased defense, right? So you have decreased defense in somebody like Michinaki, right? He brings decreased defense. He also brings in Hex. I don't think Hex applies too much here, more so in um, in Hydra. But decreased defense is definitely one. HP burns on his A1 is pretty nice. He's also got the passive, so whenever the Hex is applied on the clan boss, anytime an ally attacks, he has a 50% chance to join in the attack to do some extra damage and place extra HP burns. So there's an option there. Obviously, you have... Your damage in Newt. You've got your damage in Sigfrin. Um, let me see who else you have here. Oh, yeah. So decreased defense and you're looking for weaken also. So she would be a pretty good option. There's a little bit of setup with her and HP burns and then placing this. But like she brings decreased defense and weaken. Uh, I don't know what she's like for survivability. But like there's an option there. Oh, you have Dracomorph. Well, oh, you probably have Lydia. Yeah, you have Lydia too. You have Lydia. Lydia also brings strength in and increased speed. And poison sensitivity. So if you wanted to pair with Battle Kazar, you could even do that. But yeah, you have um you definitely have an option here with this support champion as well. So that she can place the decreased defense and weaken if you wanted to. Build Draco a little tankier or make your support champions a lot better. Then he brings decreased defense and weaken as well as extra poisons. And then he smacks pretty hard with his A1. You also have Pythion, great for cleansing, great for heals, great for revives and strengthen, and then his passive for every buff everybody has. He's also going to give damage reduction up to 25%, kind of like what Duchess does, just in a different way. I talked about ally attack. Masha Led does some heavy damage as well. And then uh, Ninja is here. Ninja with the HP burns. We already know Ninja chops through. Ninja can definitely chop. Chop uh, the, the clan boss's big belly. You know, slice that up. 
So yeah, those are the basic mechanics that you're looking for. You're looking for a team that can help you survive, keep your team alive. Basically, providing the buffs, the heals, and the damage mitigation reliability, the sturdiness, the sturdiness that you would need to allow your damage dealers or your debuffers to do what they need to do. So definitely bring those guys in and then focus on bringing in your best damage dealers after you bring in those who can, you pick somebody, pick somebody who can bring decreased defense and weaken. And if your gear is strong enough, which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at your, some of your builds here, I think they might actually be decent enough. A lot of, let's see, if I were in this account and it was me, I would have sold this much. I've sold that, but it looks solid. Just like a first first glance, not really looking at the specific pieces of gear. Gear? Gears? Species specific. Yeah, so you have gear. Um, let me see. Just kind of get a quick glance at your other things. So the, you're doing Hydra. And you've spent money here. You're buying the passes. You're doing Centronos. Let's see what the accessories are looking like. Yeah, so I see some CVCs in here, some more Hydras. You're doing your clan quests. You're getting that counterattack. You're getting the counterattack masteries. You're doing your TTA because you have some reflex uh, cleansing gear. Yeah, so you have gear. It just takes a little bit of, you know, tweaking. But I mean, your builds already look pretty well put together. Like, how fast is your Siffy? 358, not bad. Yeah, so you have champs. Those are the options, uh, Neo. Let me see here. Looking for. I never know what I'm looking for, but it looks cool whenever I look here. So I, I always come and check that out. Um, in terms of the other areas of the game, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick look. What's your Iron Twins looking like? Forty-seven seconds. Very nice. You already used it, so you know you know to make sure you max out your your keys, especially on Void Day. What's your Minotaur looking like? Eight seconds. Awesome. I'm actually kind of curious to see what this run looks like. Let me mess around with Sigfrid for a bit. Eric's is pretty dope. Sigfrid, look at him. He just looks like a. He's just awesome. Awesome champion. One day, one day I'll get a mythical champion that isn't Mikage. Hopefully I get a really good one like Crixia or Sigfrid here. Yeah, that move always destroys me. Dear God, just as A1 smacking. Wow. Amazing. Sheesh. I think the eight second run was probably like Sigfrid by himself, maybe. Because all these other champions taking turns, you know, if he's the only one doing damage, then that's kind of like the main thing. Yeah, uh, pretty, pretty, very like lost, lost for words with this champion. It's an awesome champion. So that's good. Yeah, let's check your. Okay, so you're doing, you're doing hard ten golem. Good team. Spider ten. You're doing it. Eleven seconds is pretty good. Yeah, I run a. Uh, a similar comp there so you're good there 40 this is a, a nice speed team also you're probably soloing with well not soloing you're probably working in conjunction with these two and then reset and then poison extra damage i don't think battle Gazar is soloing never mind it's probably just newt but the extra damage coming from yeah so you're doing that and you're doing hard 10 fire knight this is actually pretty quick two minutes 46 seconds my best time is two minutes Let's see, Cold Heart. Yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, so you, you're able to put teams together. 
17 seconds is pretty good for, yeah. This is an awesome team. And then 25, 40 seconds. Yeah, 40. Yeah, this is the same. This is the Bronco comp. So you could definitely, like, I can see in your account that you know how to put teams together. Right? I, I've seen your builds, so I, I definitely know you can do this. And you've completed the Faction Wars arena. Let's see what your arena is looking like. Your defense is looking pretty tight. Wait, let me see who these guys are first. Okay, so you're... Yeah, you're able to smash through a lot of people. This one makes sense. Valken is an asshole. But yeah, you're you're going other four hundred. Uh, sorry, other level one hundreds are going up against you, and you're beating them. Let me just see real quick what um. Let's just pick this team here. Let's let's just see what this does. So either RB or okay, so RB goes first, Sippy goes to boost, and then Trenda is your nuker. Alright, but well we're not gonna win this one. Let me see if there is one we might win here. Just so I can kind of get a full picture. Okay, so yeah, she is putting in some work. Let's try this one. Yeah, a lot of arena teams. Oh god, Armand's. Nice protection set on Nekmo, Nekmo by the way. Or not Nekmo, freaking Nekrit. Why would you put that on the sheep, bro? Oh, the decrease attack, that's why. Yeah, so this this Trunda is definitely smacking. This is one of the teams here. But yeah, a lot of arena teams are basically just whoever goes first, that's who's going to win. Let me see what other teams you have set up here. Equipe. This is in... C'est français, no? Let's, let's try this one here. Of course, it's Hegemon, so we'll see. Boom. And this is his move. He just brings everybody back. Yeah, it's a fucking dick. I hate this move, dude. But it's so cool when it happens for you. So this is not the best full auto team, I think. It kind of... Because, like, the idea for arena teams is you just want it to be quick, right? If you're doing plat, you you don't want fights to last for a minute. Like, this fight is... I mean, it just kind of depends on what you're looking for, right? Because if you're, if you're okay just doing your five medals or maybe doing, like, a classic arena team, like, this is fine, you just throw them in. It, it also has to do with the teams that, that I've picked. But I probably reprogram the AI settings... And I'd probably change it so that you have like a buff strip. I don't know what Morgan does. A buff strip or a debuffer so that Siegfried can do his what he needs to do a lot better. Like right now, Siegfried is your only damage dealer. But yeah. Um, so like depending, like I said, where you want. Also, positioning matters. So if you're gonna have shoes in, she naturally places her A2. On whoever's in the leadership position right so if you want to make sure that you're on auto and you want to like i for an example on my uh on one of my accounts i have shoes in always placing the uh i forgot where i was going with this i got distracted but yeah um like if you put him here she's gonna place it on him or you could change this around right so if you have it's something like this. Shuzen in the first position, in the leadership position, and then Siegfried in the, in the uh, what do you call it? The first position here. So let's go into this fight just so I can show you real quick. So she go, okay. Well, if she were to do, okay, let me just show you. It's not the best example because uh, let me 
see if I can find a different one here. Let's try this one. So she's going to open up with her A3 first. Her AI works like that. But if you preset it to where she opens with her A2 first, or you're just, you're just going to see it. She's going to place the buff, the, the instant turn on Sigfrin whenever she does take a turn. Of course, he stays alive. He's got that really nice ability. And see, so Sigfrin actually gets the buff, and you want to make sure that he gets the buff so that he is able to do his damage. Not the best team to go up against, but like I'm just showing you guys the concept behind it. I'm showing you uh, how I would restructure that team. And yeah, so counterattack with Hefrak, that makes sense. Necrit, Leo, this is a uh, pretty good. Yeah, so this one's a pretty dope one too. Speed probably opens with the A2, and then Leo does his move, then it's a reset. Everybody in Stone Skin know it is. Although Kaimar is. Kaimar isn't meta anymore. And the reason being is because of Polymorph. However, maybe with the new set, you can make Kaimar work all the time for you in Arena. But then again, it just kind of, like I said, depends on... Like, this would be a better speed speed farming team than uh, what you had earlier. But, you know, that's besides the point. And then... Okay, so you're in... Bronze? Definitely work your way up. You're, you're definitely going to want to move up into the gold tier for bizarre because you get all of this like i um like I, I get my sacred shards from here almost every month same thing with my voids i also go out of my way for this one and this one and where is it this artifact or this accessory here i usually get that on the daily as well so yeah farm that but again uh it just kind of depends on what, what you're looking for there let me see your hydra teams All right, so your brutal team two nightmare nightmare. Okay, so you have a lot of teams set up, including the Trunda team here, reset with Gurpy, extra damage with Gurpy. I'd be curious to see how Sigfrind does in a Hydra fight, but like this makes sense, and I think. With, for an example, like the first team that you have set up here, it makes sense. Like I see what you're what you're going for, right? You have your two revivers, your support champions, so you know how synergy works already because you have these teams here. Debuff, like how is Mighty Uko built? Okay, so Mighty Uko, if you're going to use them specifically for Hydra, I think you have enough to compensate for arena for pvp so maybe consider building uko in a provoke set i mean if you do use him in pvp uh, a stun set would also be pretty nice so he's in the lead you get the 20 uh, aura revives block and uh, sorry the buff strip the debuff sorry the buff strip he places the debuff but he buff strips and then he places block buff so that's pretty good I was at a loss for words there. You got the revive in Duchess. Newt is going to be doing his damage. Uh, this is A2 turned off. It's not turned off. That's fine. As long as you have enough res on him, you definitely don't want anybody stealing this. So, you know, make sure you have that. Oh, wait. No, you have um, Bivald. So then you don't need Provoke. Then I'd put him in a Hex set. Oh, you don't, you don't need him because you have Michinaki. Then this is fine. Another damage dealer in... Well, you have other damage dealers, right? So, like, Sun Wukong would be pretty pretty nice to see. Sigfrid could go in, slot in for Royal Guard. Because Royal Guard's cool, but he only brings that, that A2 whenever that move comes around. Other than that, it's not really going to be, a, a, you know, doing an active thing for you. So, when you're talking about normal... You guys are... Okay, so you just joined this clan. 
this clan is only on easy. Okay, so he probably like joined a clan to to help out a friend or something is more than likely what the what the story is here. Um because you have nightmare teams set up already. Which makes sense. Triple EMHP moves, block debuffs, decreased defense. Kind of. Um Yeah, so it's kind of the same thing with with um clan boss, right? Make sure you have the team to help you uh, to synergize well. You want to make sure you're you're keeping the CC up. So like provoke. You want to make sure that you're having hex on, which you do in both of these teams. And maybe Lydia's in a curse set. I didn't check. Shamael to deal with to deal with the fears. So it's it's just a matter of learning which debuffs you can bring, the synergy and support that your team can bring to allow your other champions to do what they need to do, and to make sure that you're controlling specific heads. So the head that cleanses, you're going to want to have a Provoke Champion. So you have that with Bivald. For the head of Mischief, you're going to want to deal... You're going to want to have to... I guess that's why you have Nut in here with low res. You have Michinaki because of his ability to buff strip as well as place the Hex so you can actually target every single head. He also has the... Oh, I just said the buff strip. Never mind. So like, there's that. You have two buff strippers. Like, it's pretty solid. It's It's really good. Now with normal, all you have to do is basically throw in a bunch of nukers. Because right now your team is only doing normal, and it doesn't look like they're getting too far. It's a smaller clan. That's totally fine. But like I guarantee you if you throw in a bunch of nukers, even if you were just to do something like, I don't know, like, like this. Right? You have Siegfried. You have him. You have him. Uh, you can throw in Michinaki. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and throw in Shu Zen. She's going to help out with support. You could throw in Cardio. Like, you throw this in, this is going to deal with everything pretty quickly. And then maybe even consider doing a Sham Ale. I don't know how many Shams you've got, but you could definitely throw in Sham Ale here. Now, if the builds are right, and good, then you should be able to just smash through everything. Because that's how I deal with, with normal. I just completely hit them hard and often. So much to the point where you don't even have to worry about Hex. So much to the point where you don't have to worry about placing Provokes because you're just hitting them so hard and so often you're just complete raw-dogging them that the Hydra Heads have nothing, have nothing that they can do. And you don't have to worry about it. It usually hits the turn turn limit. In fact, it's been a while since I haven't hit the turn limit uh, for normal. So yeah, so something like this. Obviously, um, the head, the fear head, is gonna, you know, make you lose a few turns here and there. But it seems to me like Siegfried can transfer debuffs. Yeah, he's hitting so freaking hard. Look at that. I might even want to like consider hitting this head just to is he in a relentless set? Nut is in a relentless set. I guess that makes sense in the context of Fire Knight. Okay, so yeah, with a little bit of uh tweaking, this could work because Michinaki just fell. So when you do get the gear for it, or when you do figure out the specific comp that you want, then consider that. Let me see where else. Uh, Doom Tower. I'm pretty sure you got Doom Tower. You have the champs for it. Curse City. I think you've got it because I've seen the Merc gear that you have and the Supersonic gear. Siege. You just joined this clan. So there's that. But yeah, you got champs. I can see that you know what you're already doing. You've got some money spent in here. So you got this. In terms of your clan boss team, just take what you've done with... Hydra and pretty much every other aspect of the game implement it here and you got it. Like, do you have a preset? So we have this. Iron Twins, Clan Boss. So you, I guess you were starting something here, but yeah, you, you got this. And Iron Brago's pretty good because he brings in extra defense with his passive. And then this looks like you would just need probably... 
And so you have decreased defense and weaken. Good defense in him. He also does some damage. Decrease attack. Support. Maybe a healer. So, like, if you're going to bring in Draco, maybe um, Bad Alcazar, and then probably another damage dealer. Maybe even Siegfried. 